This is the ultimate lead generation system for anyone working B2B. As you can see, when we spin off this automation right here, you get all your leads populated into your database. If that is Google Sheets or Airtable or any other database, you get the first name, last name, email, only verified emails in this lead list, job title, company name, casual name, because we actually want to use a casual name inside of a cold email. We don't want to send a name like Corp or Inc or LLC when we have that set dynamically in the cold email, because that would look really robotic. So, and also not capital letters, as you can see right here with this example. And we also have their website, the person LinkedIn, which we're going to scrape to actually get this congratulatory message, which is produced by AI. As you can see, this congrats message right here, uh, for example, saying something like, congrats on reaching the $5,000 unit milestone at McDowell Housing Partners. Your innovative financing strategies in attainable housing are truly paving the way for sustainable communities. And by the way, if you want any sort of automation like this implemented into your business, please make sure to click the link in the description. So now I'm going to show you step by step how you can build this yourself. So we're going to go through each node so you can see exactly how this is built and understand how the system works so you can build this by yourself. So the first one we are doing here is a HTTP request. Basically, what we do is that we scrape Apollo through a platform called Appify. So as you can see in here, if you use Apollo, if you've ever used Apollo before, you can basically scrape. This is like the best lead database you have on the internet where you can just scrape where you can scrape almost any person or company you would want. And you can use really specific criteria like I do here. So you can get really the avatar you want and only scrape those. And you also get a lot of data like LinkedIn, which you're going to use to personalize these leads or the messages for these leads, which we're going to use in a cold email approach. So as you can see here, you can set the email status to not be catch all. And you can set the job titles to only be CEO and COO. And you can set the location to be whatever you want. If you want to only scrape in Miami, for example, you can set to that. And as you can see in here, I also set the employees to only be between 11 and 100. So there are many specific criteria you can set in here. But once you've done that, all you need to do is you need to copy this URL right here because we're actually not going to scrape this from Apollo. We're going to scrape this through a scraping site called Appify or a platform which hosts a lot of scraping tools. So in here, you just need to search for Apollo. And you can just click on enter and you will find this Apollo scraper, which is called Apollo scraper scrape up to 50 K leads. And all you really need to do in here is just take that URL. You just copy it and paste it in here, just like that. And then what you need to do is you need to go over to integrations right here. And in here you can find the, what's called use API endpoints. And we want to get the run actor synchronously and get data set items. And you can just copy that in here. And the nice thing here is that they actually have your API key built or set into this uh, little URL in here. So you don't have to get your API key, go back to your end to end scenario and just paste that URL in here. And once you've done that, you want to be sending a body and you want to be sending JSON using JSON. And you want to go over back over to your app Appify. And in here, we want to come back over to the uh, input section of that Apollo scraper. And you want to find the JSON. In here, all you need to do is you need to copy that JSON. So you can just uh, select it, copy it, and get back over to your end end scenario. And in here, you just need to paste that JSON in here, and you are good to go. So that's basically all the scraping. And now we want to move over to the actually qualifying the emails, verifying the emails, and then we want to be enriching the leads with some personalization for some personalized messages with using scraping their uh, LinkedIn profiles and then sending that to AI to create a little congratulations message, which is, which is something we see convert really well. So the next step is just to edit these fields or set these fields we get from what we scraped with Apollo in here. So that was, that's just setting the first name. As you can see, we just drag all this stuff right here, sending the first name like this. And it will become the first name, last name, LinkedIn URL we get from here, title, the title of the person we are scraping, and then the, their email and also their organization name, organization LinkedIn URL, website URL, and also industry. Uh, so that's really simple. And then we're just setting that inside of a Google Sheets here. I just like to keep my leads in Google Sheets. Whenever you scrape the first time, we actually set these leads here as well. But if the Automation fails, it will keep the leads anyways. However, it should not fail. So moving on, we have the million verifier. And what we're doing in here is that we're actually verifying the emails that we scrape from Apollo. So we make sure that we don't send emails to bad emails because that would mean we would hurt our email reputation, especially when we're sending cold emails. So we're, we are verifying these emails with million verifier, which is an API call we are going to make. And you just have to head over to millionverifier.com and make yourself an account that is really cheap for email verification. And it's also super good. And then you want to head over to the API section over here and just copy your API key. Head back over here and you want to use this 
a, uh, API endpoints. And then we also want to send a query parameter called API. And I've just uh, made some dashes before my API key, so you don't see my API key. But just basically put your API key in here uh, with the name API. And then you have to send the email to this tool. So you just say email. And then you find the email here from the Google Sheets. Just drag that email over here, and you're good. And then you want to set the timeout as well. You just set the timeout to 10 seconds for each email that it wants to that it needs to verify. And once you're done with that, we can head over to the good emails filter right here. Just basically what this does is, is filtering out the good emails or the bad emails, I mean. So just set the email quality here from this one right here to good. If it is equal to good, good, we will move on with those emails. As you can see, 52 emails and only 32 of them were at good quality. And for next note here, we are just creating a casual company name for the company name. Because as you can see, or as you maybe not can see in here, but many company names have names that end with LLC or Inc or something like that. And that is not what you want to use in a cold email message. We only want to use like a casual name without the Inc and LLC. So basically that's what we're doing here. We're just creating a casual name with this uh, little prompt here. This is the business name that wants to be cleaned. This is the user me uh, message to OpenAI. And this in here is the prompt that we're telling it basically uh, make a casual name with a really specific prompt. So this Google Sheets node just got an error because we had pinned some data in the merge node. But the next node here is going to be the if node where we check whether or not we have a personal LinkedIn URL for the person we are scraping with Apollo and Appify. So what we're doing here basically is that we're checking if this field right here has a LinkedIn URL. So if that exists, then we're moving ahead with the true branch. And in the true branch, we are just setting the LinkedIn URL, which we are going to loop over, because now we're going to loop uh, over all of those LinkedIn URLs with this little loop uh, node here. Then we're going to wait for two seconds so we don't overheat the API calls. Wait, or wait for one second between each API call. Then we're going to make a HTTP request to a an API called Exa, actually, which is going to return this right here. I'm going to show you Exa, but first I'm just going to show you what it returns so you can see how valuable this is. You can try Exa for free for $10 worth of free credits, which is super nice. You get a lot of searches for that. Just click on get started and you will find in here, you will find your API keys under API keys. And once you've done that, you can come over to the search here because that is actually what we're going to do. We're going to search for the LinkedIn URL. And all you need to do is you need to head over to the curl and you need to copy that. And you can head back over to your anytime scenario and you just need to click on import the curl or CRL and just paste it in here, click on import, and you will get this right here. And all you actually need to change after that is just the query where we're going to put in dynamically the LinkedIn URL. So you can just uh, delete what was actually written there before, and you can just drag this LinkedIn URL inside of here. So just drag that in here, and then it will actually go ahead and scrape each of the sites for each loop. So I actually went ahead and added a filter here after the loop, because the thing is, actually had a case there where we didn't manage to scrape one of the LinkedIn's. As you can see, now we do, but I just added a filter here saying that if we don't get this results.txt, this one right here, if this doesn't exist, then we actually filter out those that don't exist. So for those that do exist, we put them into the OpenAI, and as you can see, 32 or 32 items now exist. So this will be a very, very rare edge case. What we do now is that we just put that inside of here. We say that we get the results, get the text, put that in here as our input, as the user prompt to the OpenAI. And then we have a little system prompt here saying, basically telling it to create a brief, casual, congratulatory message that references a specific achievement and adds personal connection points, et cetera, et cetera. You can just go ahead and screenshot this uh, prompt and then you can take it to ChatGPT, ask it to write it out for you so you can just have the text yourself. And then what we do after that is that we merge these two uh, branches right here and we get that into a Google Sheet. As you can see in here, here we set the difference. So in here, we just set the values to send to Google Sheets so we get that in the right columns. First of all, we have the first name. As you can see, first name, last name, e and also job title and company name are all from this edit, edit fields right here. So you can just grab that and set that over in here and you will have the those values. And we also, as you can see, there are more from edit fields here. We have the website that we get from this right here. And we have the personal LinkedIn URL. And we also have the company LinkedIn URL. And we have some from other uh, 
outputs here or other nodes here, we have the good emails, which comes from this one right here. So we just have that email, set that in here. Same goes for, let's see, create casual company name is obviously going to come from the create casual company name here. In here. This is the one, that's the casual company name. And we also have the last congress message, which, co which comes from the last node, which is going to be the merge, no merge node which merges those two together, right? Because we have one branch doing a personalized congratulatory message from the personal LinkedIn URL. The other one is doing it from the company LinkedIn URL. And then we just set that in here and then you are good to go. And you should have all the fields set into your Google Sheets. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to subscribe. And if you want to work with me, you can click the link in the description and I'll see you in the next one.